going to show you in this video how easy it is to get started editing content with Perch. My starting point here is actually a bootstrap theme. It's a one page theme, I've paid for it, downloaded it to my computer and it's running in a local web server such as MAMP. All I've done before starting this tutorial is I've changed the default.html extension that the theme came with. I've changed that to .php because we need to run PHP on the page to use Perch. So the first thing I need to do is download Perch, open the folder and copy the Perch folder into the root of my site. I can then go to slash Perch and fill in the details. I'm creating here the main admin account. You'll be able to create other roles and users once you're logged in. I also fill in my database details and these are my local database details because I'm working locally. Once I've done that, I can click the next step and hopefully Perch will be able to write my config file and I can then log in. When I do log in for the first time, I'm not going to see any pages because I haven't actually set up Perch to edit any content yet. But we can see that Perch is installed. So we now go back to the HTML page. The first thing I need to do is to include the Perch runtime. Now this is just a PHP include that includes Perch. So we've got all the functions and so on that we need. With the runtime in place, I need to find some content that I want to edit. I'm going to start with the about section on this page. So I'm adding a Perch region for the heading there and I'm adding a perch region for the strap line. Now we could be creating a template for all of these, but let's just put some regions in for now and we'll look at creating templates next. So once I've done that, I reload the page and that about section then disappears. If we go into admin, the home page has appeared and that section has appeared that we added the two regions so we can add some text in there. Now I'm just choosing text which is a single line text entry field. You can see in that drop down there were other types of templates that we could have chosen. So if we go back to the page and reload and we can scroll up there and we can find that about us section that I've edited the content for. So the next thing I want to do is to do these images and sort of brief descriptions of the team. So I'm going to make my own custom template for the team pages so that I can add the image and the name and job title of each person. So the first thing I do is copy out the markup that makes up one of those sections. I paste it into a new file and I save it into perch templates content as team.html. Once I'm in there, I can start editing that and adding perch tags in place of the content that I want to enter in the admin section. So you can see here I'm adding an image. I'm using a type of image. I'm giving it a label. And I'm adding some help text because Bootstrap actually makes the rounded image People don't have to upload a rounded image, so I'm just making sure that the person uploading images knows they don't need to worry about that. I can then use perch content tags uh, to add some text fields for the person's name. And what I can also do is use their name in the alt text of the photograph. So if I just copy that in and reuse exactly the same fields, um, it won't need to be edited twice, but the content will appear in both places. And I've also added a text field for role. I then go and remove all four images. And I add a perch region there for team, just as we did before. Reload the page and what we've got there will disappear. Go into admin, look at our home page, and we see we've got a new team section. 
And so here we can choose the team template. This is our new template that we created. And so we want to have multiple items. And we can see here that our tags that we added to the template have created the admin. I've got an image field here. I'm using the asset management to upload some images. I can then choose one of them and put that into the template. And then we've got the full name and the role. Because I set this to be a multiple item region, it will let me add as many team members as I need to add. So I'm going to go through and add each one in turn. I've just shown you really a small subset of the tags that are available for templates. There's lots of different kinds of tags that you can use uh, to create any kind of template that you want. And the important thing to know with Perch is that all of the markup is totally under your control. And if you go back to the page once you've added them, we can reload it and see our images appear. Now there's one thing. When we load them the first time, they kind of bounce in at different times. And that's because there's a delay actually set in markup in the template. And we can make it so the admin can enter that as well. It doesn't just need to be copy that you see on the page that gets entered. You could add CSS classes or anything else. So I'm adding that as another perch template tag. And I'm giving it some help that would make it easy for an admin to understand what they needed to add here, because it's a slightly unusual thing. Now if we go back to the admin and reload the page so our new field appears, you can see the field and you can also see the help text. Adding help text like this is a really, really useful trick. It stops admins from getting confused when they forget what they might need to enter if they haven't been back to the page for quite a while. We save that. We can now go back to the front end of the website, reload the page and we can see the images bounce back in the way they did before. And obviously we can tweak that timing in the admin. So that was a really quick introduction to the very basics of using Perch. And in fact, for many sites, that might be all you need to do. You can really can get a site up and running in an hour or so. But there's lots more to Perch. So do explore our documentation, our video tutorials, or just come and ask us a question in the forum. We'd really like to know what you think and what you'd like to be able to do so that we can help you.